Today, I will be revealing intelligence proving that Hamas uses hospitals as terror infrastructures. I repeat that Hamas uses hospitals as terror infrastructures. Hamas has turned hospitals into command and control centers and hideouts for Hamas terrorists and commanders. Additionally, I can confirm that according to the intelligence we have in our hands, there is fuel in hospitals in Gaza. I repeat, there is fuel in hospitals in Gaza, and Hamas is using it for its terror infrastructures. The information I will share here today has also been shared with the members of the intelligence community. We have given them all the materials and more than you, you will be see here, and they all have accepted it. Together with further classified materials that show more concrete evidence, both relating to hospitals being used as terror infrastructures and the status of fuel. I want to start with Shifa Hospital, located in Gaza City, the biggest hospital in Gaza. This is the Shifa Hospital. You can see where it locates in Gaza City, the largest hospital in Gaza. It has over 1,500 beds, 4,000 staff, and now it has also more people around the surroundings of the hospital. The red the marks that you've seen before and you'll see later are red marks of building that are involved with Hamas and we know it and we have the proofs that they are with involvement of Hamas. Hamas is cynically using hospitals and as a shield for its underground terror complex. I want to explain. There is an underground metro tunnels in Gaza City, not just in Gaza City. Usually it's based next to, next to unique sites or sensitive sites, not just the hospital, but other sites as mosques, etc., etc., UNRWA places, hospital, schools, etc., etc. This is a philosophy of Hamas, and Shifa is one of them. Explaining map. The red buildings, as I mentioned, are buildings that Hamas is using, meaning he does his command and control in different departments of the hospital, like the Rengen room and others. He uses these places in order to do command and control for terror activities, launching rockets, etc., etc. It is here in Chifa Hospital where Hamas operates some of its command and control cells. This is where they direct rocket attacks, command Hamas forces. Hamas terrorists operate inside and under Shifa Hospital and other hospitals in Gaza with network of terror tunnels. Hamas also has an entrance to those terror tunnels from inside the hospital wards, meaning from different places of the hospital, you can go into an underground tunnel that will provide you shelter. We'll show it now in a map. This is an illustration of Shifa Hospital and the underground facilities. I want to repeat, this is only an illustration. We will not share here the true material. We will not share here the true material that we have in our hands. This is only an illustration. Right now, terrorists move freely in Shifa Hospital and other hospitals in Gaza. We have concrete evidence that hundreds of terrorists flooded into the hospital to hide there after the massacre of October 7th. Hamas uses Shifa Hospital as a shield for Hamas terror infrastructure. Hamas wages war from hospitals. By operating from these hospitals, Hamas not only endangers the lives of Israelis, civilians, but also exploit 
innocent Gazan civilians as human shield. Shifa is not the only hospital, it is one of many. Hamas' use of hospitals is a systematic. Hamas terrorists operate inside hospitals precisely because they know the IDF distinguishes between terrorists and civilians. Israel targets terrorists, Hamas targets Israeli civilians and Gazan civilians. As we, show, as, we have, as we have shown in the El Mahdi incident, in the hospital of El Mahdi. Hamas is stealing from Gazan civilians to fuel its attack. We already exposed that Hamas stole fuel from UNRWA, and UNRWA confirmed it. And, as I said, there is fuel, there is fuel in hospitals in Gaza, and Hamas is using it for its terror infrastructure. Here's a proof that Hamas has fuel in Gaza and uses it for its terror infrastructure. This is a recording. Please listen. <laughs> وين في انا بقول لي فيش انا بحكي مع اسم المستشفى بقول لي فيش يا ايش بابا مستشفيات يعني لا لا في بنزين اي في بقى الله يستر على المحطه بروح في بنزين يعني في يعني الجماعه ماسك كل الامور المحروقه اه حتى لا 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 اسقاط اليوم وسط بحكي عنه بقول غاز وبطلع انت وسط بحكي بنزين وبطلع حتى في المستشفيات يعني لا في المستشفيات هم اللي هو الدول على الصور هم بس يعني على المستشفيات يعني بدي هم هو الصور لانه في صور مين هم عندهم صور المحطات اه انت صار في انت اقل شيء بقول لك انا بقول لك اليوم اللي يعني اليوم مثلا بتحكي اليوم الخميس اعتقد انه ممكن الخميس الجاي يكون فاش كله ما شاء الله هلا محطتنا يعني وفي بياخذوا منها بودوا للصلاة للمستشفيات يعني بيسحبوا منها عن طريق السحب بودوا للمستشفيات ما لسه ولا وما اسمع لحد عم بيحطوا في البلد صراحه انف ايش اسمه؟ انفاق كل شيء كل شيء كل شيء لسه ما تبهدل يعني صراحه لسه You saw the last sentence. I think the last sentence, this is how Hamas sees the Gaza. He uses the destruction, the death in Gaza that was that occurred in because they're using them as human shield in order to show the world and get this anti-propaganda against Israel. Here's another proof that Hamas is running its their infrastructure from inside the and under hospitals in Gaza. Please listen. ولما بقصوا جامع ولا بقصوا مستشفى ولا بقصوا مسجد ولا مدرسة كله عارفين تحتها مراكز قيادة وين مراكز القيادة تبع تبع الكتاب القصة اه مركز الرئيسي وين بعرفش تحت مجمع الشفاء اه يا لطيف عن جد تحكي اه مقر القيادة الرئيسي تحت مجمع الشفاء we have also other recordings and video we will share with you later and we will share more materials classified materials with members of the intelligence community when medical facilities are used for terror purposes they are liable to lose the protection from attack in accordance with international law the IDF will continue making efforts to minimize harm to civilian population and will continue to act in accordance with international law. For over two weeks, the IDF has called and continue calling the civilians of northern Gaza and Gaza City to temporarily move to your own safety, move south to Wadi Gaza. We are continue to assist the efforts led by Egypt and the United States to provide a humanitarian effort in this area which will have food, water, 
and medicine to the people of Gaza. We will increase this humanitarian effort. Israel has put clear targets for the operation in Gaza. Our aim is to achieve both of the targets, to defeat Hamas and to bring our babies, our women, our elderly, our men back home, and we will do that.